Hi, yes. Welcome to the channel. We react a little differently around here. Different films, different format. Hope you like it. Today we're going to be a little extra different. We're going to watch four short films. The first of these is The Fairy Who Didn't Want to Be a Fairy Anymore from 93, directed by Lori Lind, and starring Daniel McIver, Mika Barnes, and Holly Cole. So, let's put our feet up and watch The Fairy Who Didn't Want to Be a Fairy Anymore. <laughs> Okay, that's an interesting opening. Oh, oh pop up books are the best, aren't they? <laughs> that's some cute art direction. What are you supposed to be? I'm a fairy. Harsh. <laughs> Doctor, there's someone here to see you. Huh. Send them right in. Step right in. <laughs> if only it was that way at real doctor's offices. <laughs> Brain. Hello. Uh. can we do for you today? I see. No, you don't see, Doc. How could you look at yourself? You're a doctor. You walk down the street, people say, hey, there goes a doctor. I walk down the street. But. But. No buts, Doc. Maybe if I was really tiny or something, or if I could turn invisible even, but I can't do anything. Look, what I'm saying is... I don't want to be a fairy anymore. Nothing can convince me any otherwise. Lived it long enough, make me like the other guys. No more fairy for me. A musical. <laughs> what about love? A fairy like you. No, 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 about me. The nurse is getting uh, off on that. Uh, uh, uh. 
Ew. Thanks, Doc. See you, buddy. <laughs> Job well done. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> now he is invisible. Lang wasn't so overrated. Oh, sad. Be true to yourself. <laughs> that was emotional. Cut the wings off, but you can't stop the fairy. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Really enjoyed that little musical number and everything in there. But yes, be true to yourself. You can hide it all you want, but it's not the real you. Our second film today is called Dominant Chord from 2019, directed by Jeremy Leroux and starring Clayton Chitty, Sean Pogue, and Caitlin Stryker. Here we go. I like that backslash. Hey, you. Good morning. <sighs> Shit. Yes, you're approaching the door. Yeah, I hate that. Jesus. You should see the other guys. Hey! We have here a couple of homos! Hey, 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 hey! Shit. How did you? Tabloids called me this morning for a statement. The label is very concerned. We were attacked. We have to get ahead of this. 
Stephanie Stevens will be there. You mean the SS train wreck? See, this is a win-win. You'll help her revamp her image. She'll help you with... People will eat up the sexy photos. No one will expect it to last, and everything will go back to normal. Ooh, back in the closet. Let's cut the bullshit, Adam. You wanted to play in the big leagues? Well, now you are. People don't give a shit what you do behind closed doors, but they don't want it shoved in their face. <laughs> I don't think getting gay patched is shoving it in it someone's out. face. Bye bye. How much longer, huh? Weeks? Months? Years? Things are changing. We just need to be a little bit more. A little more what? Miserable? Ashamed? Afraid to walk out on the street? Hiding who you. Hiding who you really are. That's what they want. <laughs> oh my god, their superstar is a big homo. Don't. What? You don't like that word? Homo? Homo? Homo. Don't call me that. Adam, it's what you are. And just because you can go out on stage and, and play pretend doesn't change that. Not for a second. And you could do so much good right now. So much good. But just being honest. Best way. But you know what? I'm glad. Because what I didn't realize up until now is how much of a coward you really are. Because you won't even fight for us. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it if you can't be yourself. That's interesting. It leaves it open. You can write your own ending, I guess, for them. All right, and our next film is Out from 2020, directed by Stephen Clay Hunter, and starring the voices of Kyle McDaniel, Caleb Cabrera, and Bernadette Sullivan. So, let's begin. Oh, we like true stories. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah, hit it, Miss Thang. <laughs> hey Greg, look what I found. Hmm? Oh, I hate moving. <laughs> Once we're in the city, I'll hang it right out in the open. I promise. And if your mom and dad decide to visit, ha! That'll never happen. Happy moving day! <laughs> Happy <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, oh Jim! <laughs> that's a Mr. Squeaker oh, toy from Toy Story. Just the kitchen, Mom! Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like she'll listen. You got it so good. I wish I had your life. <laughs> I wish I was a dog. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was hoping we could. Okay, maybe later. Oh. Let's let the boys have some quality time, eh? Yeah, that's gonna help. <laughs> What's this? Don't you dare. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the 
that's our lamp. Secret. I mean, geez, we're all stressed out with the move, but he could ask for help. Am I such a horrible mother? It's not like I don't listen. He used to tell us everything. <laughs> the look. But now, I just. <sighs> we'll always be here for you. And I know someday you'll find someone who loves you as much as we do. I just hope that whoever it is, that, well, that he makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Moms always know. Jim, no, get back here. Dad dog. Dad dog. Disco music too, I love it. <laughs> you ready? Are you? Hi. That was extremely cute. I like that. And I love the painterly style that they chose, like the watercolor. I thought that was very touching, very, very, very cute. Alright, our fourth and final film today is called Billy's Dad is a Fudge Packer. <laughs> okay, that's the title. Um, from 2004, directed by Jamie Donahue and starring Robert Gant. Alex Borstein and Katie Huffman. Here we go. Good job, Billy. With career day coming up, Billy's head is spinning with possibilities. What kind of man will he become? It's a 50s infotainment kind of thing going on. Billy sometimes wishes he had things as easy as her. All she has to worry about is being pretty. <laughs> <laughs> 50s. Dad's home. Billy's dad is a fudge packer. <laughs> At the local candy factory. Oh, good to clarify. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dad likes to do his own teabagging. <laughs> yeah. Nothing but double entendres, huh? Okay. What's that? A knock at the back door. <laughs> yes, father is always willing to accept visitors through his back door. <laughs> but mother has to remind him his work is done for the day. She'll take this one. Betty is very independent for a woman. But it's okay, because her husband isn't at home. <laughs> While he serves his country overseas, Betty is minding the store, delivering her goods to all the wives in the neighborhood. Oh, I'll bet. Nutritious things like eggs and avocados. <laughs> Dinner's almost ready. And while mother checks the bird, Betty offers some <laughs> helpful hints on using the turkey baster. <laughs> oh, be careful, Billy. You'll spill on yourself before dinner. Oh, thank you, says mother. Mother's saving up green stamps to get sister some jewelry for her birthday. Boy, will sister be surprised. Why, she's asked just about every boy in town to give her a pearl necklace. <laughs> Betty appreciates mother's interest in stamp licking and decides to throw in a little extra, knowing how close mother is to her final goal. No matter how long and hard a day dad's had fudge packing, he's never too tired to toss the salad. 
Dinner time is family time. Uh. A chance to share the events of your day. It wasn't until I was a few years older that I knew fudge packing was right for me. <laughs> he comes early five days a week to the Creamy Pleasures Candy Factory. Father is a courteous boss. He knows Mr. Stevens appreciates the gesture of having his stool pushed in. <laughs> Make sure that's not dirty, Sanchez. <laughs> Do you think fudge packing is for me? Too soon to tell, Billy. <laughs> Too soon to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have colored people? <laughs> and there's no room for that kind of thinking in a free country. Mm. Republican Party. Yep. <laughs> well, that was just... Uh, okay, it was funny. But that was just a little too... Just too much. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to edit this one. Because <laughs> that was a bit all over the place. Just throwing one right after the other at you. But overall, yeah, very, very funny. So I hope you like our selection of movies today, short films. Um, yeah, I mean, the dominant chord one was a little too melodramatic, but the other three were very, very cute. Very, I very much enjoyed them. So until the next time we put our feet up, laters.